revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, Here's make Cobblepot. sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Bye, Bat. <laughs> this is Selena. <laughs> How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Here we go in episode two. And we see the I little bit I of a memorial there here. to the parents. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. People are throwing stones at my family, Alfred. I need to understand why. It's my family, too. Don't forget that. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's jubble. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Cause I'm Batman. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. What's up, Gamer Dave 35? How you doing, buddy? Legitimized the whole enterprise. Good to see you. His name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. 
Come on, you can't. Yeah, I have to. I hold this against you? You're all I, <laughs> I have to. It's Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. Yeah, WWE was really bad last night. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night. <laughs> Me too, detail. Dave. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Details? I so now it looks like we're going back into the past. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail, just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. You got blocked? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it, everything about last night on WWE was just really, really bad. He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. It's kind of weird just going back and... kind of replaying out the events here of, uh... Backstory. A different way to look at things here. Let's see if there's anything else around here to look at. Other than Alfred. No, well, I guess that's. Think back to that night, as hard as it might be to do so. Oh, there's something to look at right here. The theater. But that's crazy, you got blocked. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. Then the gun fires. And after that? I do agree about the ladder match. Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really?
loose. Are you all right? It wasn't a mug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Go with the Gotham City PD. But getting you in to see Falcone like this, I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that heart, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we not. brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak. Of course speak. it is. It's really terrible. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me. Just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Gordon. Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. Sorry, Harvey, I was going to tell you. Would well, tell me what? Your friend here gave us a case that'll put Balcone away for life. A catalog of his entire criminal empire. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. Thank you, Matoya. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Whoever he is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. Yeah. It's great to know he's out there watching over the city. Watching right, over the city. The cops all want to kill him. You say what you got to say. We'll be out here. Batman roughed him up pretty good. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> we need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press <laughs> got their teeth in you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. We're not like you. family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. 
If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? <laughs> Uncle Carmine, come on. <sighs> Ah, we'll just use his pain for now. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha... She had the human touch. I think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. What, you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. The what the? Oh shit! They're waiting for you in hell. What the hell did she do? The bastard had to die. Something wrong with her. Hands in the air. See it on Stand her face. Down. Get a doctor. Secure this floor. No one gets in or out. Go. Go. Falcone was about to spill the beans. We are in deep shit. No kidding. I bought us some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, get facts Harvey. straight. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Uh... Tell me if she says uh -oh, anything. Oh, she coming too. I have to know why she did this. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God! I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. 
This is like the bat phone. <laughs> Fresh injection site. Mm, that doesn't look like blood. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. He's on the drugs, girl. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. Right, we stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. Someone used her as a weapon, Harvey. They drugged her and sent her after Falcone. <sighs> hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Ah, Vicky Vale. Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? Sorry, Vicky, I can't talk to the press. Your lips are moving. Words are coming out. You know what I mean. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we yeah, print, no kidding. But you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Can't really give away too much uh, to her. <laughs> Can't trust those press people. I love how that car transforms into the Batmobile, though. <laughs> Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. 
In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found for Docs. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, no and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. This one over here? drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but dragging others to fight them for you? Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses, the things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position Chaos. to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Looks like the bat drone. <laughs> Search around, see what we could get. Find her! Find her now! Send a strong message! Hmm, select another drone now. Hey, middle drone, what's up? Bring me your head. Your third Batro, what do you got? There go, you go. You'll be alright. You're right. Didn't sound like much. Back to the Skyline Club. The Skyline We saw Club. him from the last episode. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Batman time!
Oh, looks like he's got some friends. Come on, come on. I know there's got to be more around here. The man probably had millions in his sock drawer. It, it, it felt good if he finds out I helped you. He'll kill me. Your boss won't be doing much of anything. Feeling I might have to deal with the big guy over there. You lot, come check out this office. Where is he? Please, you can help me, or you let him go. Yep, Batman. It's about time! You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said let him go. You hear that, Rowling? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Falcone had it coming, but that doesn't mean you're off the hook. There we go. That wasn't so hard to admit, was it? Must be a relief to get that stick out of your ass every now and then. As a show oh. of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Here's the thing, I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big well, plans sure about for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So, uh -huh. sorry this didn't work the out, plot mate. thickens. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or, what's her name again? Selina. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> Looks like I got a rolling <laughs> problem. A big rolling rock. <laughs> yep, that uh, was pretty much a big rolling problem. Let's try that again. That's gonna help very much. <laughs> Ouch. Alright, where'd he go? Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away.
looks like. Maybe we run into Selena Kyle here. Stack deck. 6.26 p.m. Bruce Wayne? Huh? Are you here? You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. You know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones <laughs> are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Nice to meet you. Frank. Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. You're uh, shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, Frank. <laughs> Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take oh. care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Huh? Penguin? Shit. You've got to be kidding me. Nope. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. Mm. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like Definitely he's hurting for crime since he's abroad. Kyle. He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right. If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together. After all, I'm not really an all-work-and-no-play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why are, why are we talking about Harvey? He's your friend, isn't he? Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. You and I... Uh-oh. Looks like they're here. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, Yo, get the hell out! She's with me. Let's see. I think you need to leave. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. <laughs> that was nice. Bar fight. Teamwork. 
Knife will lift pipe. Yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> Not done yet. Come on down, knife boy. Ooh, that had to hurt. More. Then let's give it to him. Well, that was sweet. I like that move right there. How's your neck? You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. <laughs> This way. Time to go. <laughs> Quick, check the alleyway. Can you see anything? Negative. Let's check the other side. I'll take the rooftops. In. You take the alley. Wait. Just... Stay out of trouble. <laughs> now where's the fun in that? You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Uh, processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? It looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice... People look up to Batman after how you handled Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Well, this is a Batman game, so why not go? Going as Batman. As Batman. As
public trust after taking down Falcone. Try not to throw it away by going overboard on Hill. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm a light touch when I need to be. <laughs> the city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Should we knock? Deborah, you incompetent! Dents up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes or I'm cutting your pay. Who's there? Deborah? Deborah? Was that you? Expecting someone? Maybe the penguin. Oh! Batman? What are you doing here? <laughs> I love the way he's doing this. You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. You're leaving out a few details. <gasps> I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber Wrong. of his being built on lies. Nice try. But Bruce Wayne is clean. No one born into a pile of crap that deep can come out clean. I witnessed firsthand the atrocities of his family, and he's the one who profited. <gasps> Security! Pick up! Yeah, God that's not gonna work. Security! <laughs> Don't kill me! I've done nothing wrong. Why come to you? Because I knew about Arkham Asylum and what was done to those poor people. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Why would Thomas Wayne lock up innocent people? Anyone that stood in Thomas's way got knocked down, one way or the other. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. No Not on my watch, baby. First. If I had given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck at the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally. About damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father. It must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Uh, indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you are. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. Else is on here. Time to find out, shall we? I saw docking station. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't Maybe. imagine how you must feel. To hear their crimes detailed. First by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. Uh... 
I'll uh, leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... well, it's not exactly pleasant. Why? why what happened? Are you all right? Me? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, you mean because of this penguin threat? They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look, Bruce. I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. I, I get it, it's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see Just hearing way. Batman talk as Bruce Wayne is pretty crazy. With the <laughs> in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. No matter what, we need a new mayor. Hill needs to be removed. I, I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? It's all about the money, baby. <laughs> Whatever it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> I guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. <laughs> Quite so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. But just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. You're lucky I'm on your side. Now that may be true, but I can't ally with a violent thug. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the <laughs> same side, Jim. Uh, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um incident in the bar dead is its own kind of cage i can't stand being in it not that i needed your help or anything but you had my back i thought i'd repay the favor you know like you scratch my back i cut some people up doing the right thing maybe there's hope for you yet don't read too much into it i'm just allergic to owing you anything none of my men <laughs> on the ground are responding Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We 
are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. <laughs> Even Batman's campaigning. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger, Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rise in crime rates, income inequality, yes, a massive vigilante loose on our streets. The candidates will tackle it all. <gasps> Double team. we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so fucked sorry, up. ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business... Firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages... Well, that just got interesting. I don't like their CTV. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Casualties are inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. <gasps> You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Yes. Thank you for Wait. volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. He's on the light stand. Whatever your name is. Call me Penguin. Yes, of course. Penguin, then. We will play your game. Just please, let these people go. Play them, and we'll see. Going on. Skates. Goes. First. Heads. Question. Okay, this is Doug here. Question. We take out the third thug here. Gotcha. Uh oh, he's still moving. Maybe next time. <laughs> K 
Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My counselors and sisters of color, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that ruined your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Did you ever meet the guy on the screen? Nope. Smart to let someone else do your dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to me. Go on, love. You know what to do. They both gave him the drug. Show Gotham your true self. Tell them what you really think about the city you pretend to love. Everybody in Gotham saw that moderator get shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the pool. Dent! 
Your mate, Bruce Wayne, your biggest supporter, and he didn't even turn up. <laughs> <laughs> Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! I'm not here to join you. I'm here to crush you. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> the drug. Looks like Penguin left his calling card. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. The Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne. Lieutenant. He's lucky. It would have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. Children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. 